Aquarius, what's going on with you guys? I am tuning in to those that are single, ladies and gents, independent, non-committed Aquariuses. What's going on with you, water bearers? What's going on with those Aquariuses that I am connecting with? Let's see, let's see. What's going on with those Aquariuses that I am connecting with around the world? Let's see what's going on with the singles. The Hierophant. Hmm, interesting. I just did the Libra in reading and they got the same thing. Literally. They got the same thing. Let's see. Tell me more about this. Okay, you could have undergone some sort of defeat here that was quite difficult. You might have harbored this for a long time here. Aquarius, all right, might have harbored some sort of defeat that happened and you just couldn't couldn't really do much about it or at least you felt stuck. You felt stuck and you, you, you weren't doing much about this defeat that ensued, but something here awoke you, okay? There was some sort of revitalization or some sort of realization. You definitely gained a different perspective on this matter that has compelled you toward a different direction, all right? Toward a direction of, of balance, of giving, of benevolence, of reciprocity. All right, tell me more. Yes, interesting. So look, I get the sense that you guys, first of all, are single as can be, all right? I'm not seeing a relationship, although I'm gonna look into this hierophant in just a moment. You could have undergone something that was committal, that just fucking fell apart, and then you recovered from this, and you, now you're back in your flow. It's like you went through something challenging, but now you're back in the flow of being available to date or available to give you know of this romantic side of you and that's where i'm seeing you and i'm seeing you in a good light i'm seeing you you know just focused on your stability on your own beauty on your own groundedness on your own progress is where i see your energy at but let's look into this hierophant what's this hierophant about for my single aquariuses three of cups hmm. all right tell me more Tell me more. Queen of Cups. Wow. Okay. So there's definitely love. There's union here in a situation. There's con there's a connection here that is just saturated with a lot of emotional feelings. However, there is a bit of stress regarding this situation. Why is there stress regarding this union that is surrounded by a lot of feelings? Because there's distance. All right. That is what I'm seeing here. Because there's distance. All right, let me see. From the eight to the six of swords, the devil energy. Hmm. Fuck. Why the distance? What's this? I mean, this could be physical distance, but I, I also get the indication that it could be emotional distance. Even though there's love or an emotional connection with somebody, they someone here is very deep in their ego and it's preventing them from, you know, just exploring the depths of love, essentially. Okay, now what's going on with this Five of Swords? Why is this Five of Swords here? Why is the Five of Swords? The World card, yeah, you definitely closed something out. Something here that was difficult and something here that you had to pick yourself up from and you had to find, you had to like basically lick your wounds and continue to persevere through a challenging path. Something that you had a difficult time working through, all right? You held on to this for a long time. Could have been dealing with a player here. You could have played someone, all right? You could have just been in a player's energy here. And someone here got played due to karma, all right? And it just left them fucking feeling stuck and in their head, confused and daunted. But now we move on to the judgment. This is the realization and the clearing of the air the new beginning the justice here at the bottom of the deck so things seem to have you know balanced out since then some of you guys are i have yet to go through this and some of you are going through this some of you already been through this all right take it as it resonates nevertheless you've been waking up okay you've been waking up you've healed up i see the phoenix it's like you've risen from your ashes yeah you got burnt but you fucking now you're back up all right or at least you're wow clarifying the ace of coins we got the ace of wands Double aces. Yep, brand new beginnings for Aquarius. All right. What's with the six of coins? This could be indicative of having a relationship around you that you may be giving, giving into. All right. 
let's see the temperance and the four of coins don't this could be a this could be indicative of you balancing a situ an old situation out something that's unbalanced an unbalanced relationship seeking to establish balance or some sort of stability in it but let's see let's get some clarity here what's with the six of coins what's with the six i'm curious what one other pop up the two of wands no all right six of coins what is this jesus guys i am fumbling all sorts of yeah there's some sort of relationship look at the death and the ace of swords and the temperance could be dealing with a Scorpio or Sagittarius. However, what I'm seeing here is that there's a transformation within a situation. And I feel that it's moving towards balance. Just like I initially said earlier, it's like this six of six of coins is indicative of working on a relationship and seeking to establish balance within it. However, I do still know that there's a there's a sense of independence. So you're focusing on yourself, Aquarius. You're in, like I said, independent as hell, all right? Single as can be. And you got a relationship around you from the past that you seem to be giving into, or there's some sort of energy exchange that entails balancing it out, all right? Attaining some sort of justice or, or harmony. Let's see. What's going on with the Nine of Coins? What's going on? Okay, buddy. Wow, you're not going to be single for long. Somebody's going to want to sweep you off your feet. I'm seeing a relationship here in your future. All right. You may not even see this coming, or you may know, but let's see. Tell me more about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just, I feel as if you don't see this coming. <clears throat> Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Emperor. Hmm. Interesting. The Emperor, card of Aries. A relationship from the past is returning, ladies and gents. That's what I'm seeing here. All right. Somebody here from the past could be a very authoritative individual here. Someone here that's, that seems to be established. Someone that is controlling could be. All right. Someone that is very initiative. They seem to be aloof right now. They may even appear as if they have walls up. However, this seems to be just a facade. And this individual is going to change up their game is what I'm seeing here. And they're going to move towards establishing some some a relationship with you with the four of corn with the four of wands here all right this is an already existent relationship that has yet to entirely come to the point of absolute balance and harmony so again this i'm getting the sense that it could be the ladies and gents so what i was saying here the camera got cut off aquarius so like i said there's going to be a turn of events here and this individual is going to change up their game all right what is Aquarius's energy towards this person? Let's see. What is Aquarius's energy toward this individual? What is Aquarius's energy towards this individual that they are dealing with? The okay, Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, I feel that you're you're cutting through the bullshit. I feel that you are not going to settle for anything, and I feel that you're making your boundaries pretty clear, or at least you're making your interests pretty clear that you want something long term, that you want something serious here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, you definitely see this individual as someone that you can go the distance with here. Got a power couple dynamic with the king and queen of coins. All right. You want to build. I feel that you want to build with this individual and you're making it pretty clear. You're even being patient with the situation. Card of Sagittarius again. You got a lot of love for this individual and I feel that you're willing to stick through the thick and thin, although you've already been through difficult times with this person. You're, you're still willing to put the effort and, you know, be patient and do the necessary in order to close the gap or, you know, bring about this unity between you two. What is the energy between or what is this individual's energy toward Aquarius? Whomever it is that Aquarius is dealing with, what is their energy toward Aquarius? The full energy. Yeah, just letting go of the past. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, if you guys do have a very negative history here, this individual is just like, I'm done. Releasing this burden. Taking a leap of faith. Let's go. Let's let's have something new, exciting. Turn of, turn of events. We got two tens. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Coins. This individual is just completely aligned with, you know, moving towards something serious, something very exciting, something very positive is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, two of swords. There's still a lot of lack of clarity here. All right, there's still a lot of lack of clarity here with this uh, high priestess energy. I feel that there's certain things that have yet to be spoken. 
All right, someone here doesn't have all the answers. No. It just may be you, this may be the person you're dealing with. However, doesn't someone doesn't have the answers. But it seems as if they're taking their time. They're moving very slow here. They're very they're moving very um it's like they're they're giving this they're giving into this incrementally. So you guys are, are on a similar page in regards to the effort that you're putting to towards this relationship. And both of you guys are on the same page in regards to in regards to going the distance with one another. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be taking this to the extended. I'm going to be con entirely focusing on whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to look into their feelings, their actions, their long term intentions. I'm going to look into the near future of this relationship. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Aquarius, it seems that you and whomever it is that you're dealing with are on the same page, guys. All right. However, it does. It is notable that this is going to take time to develop with that page energy. It's going to take time. There's some sort of infancy stage that this situation is on. It's like it needs to get off and get off its get on track, if you will. All right. It's it's in the process of doing so of really getting motion is what I'm saying here. But in regards to what I see regarding motives or desires, it's long term for sure. And I'm going to be clarifying that right here in just a moment. I'll either see you guys in the extended or I'll see you guys next time.